What's up, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Now we getting into it. You feel me? So before, look, man, bang the like button. Bang that subscribe button. You see them on the screen. Yeah, them right there. Hit the like and subscribe, man. Hit that right there. Now we about to get started with our story. Yo, 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 you already know I'm back with another one. We ain't gonna hold you too long on this one. So look, man, hit that like. Hit that sub. Let me know where you watching from. Let me know where you listening from. Once again, show some love, man, and hit that sub. And if you care, like and share, man. You already know, man. I appreciate all the love, all the views, and drop down in the comments and let me know what it's hidden for. You hear me? Now, today we got a very, very, very sad story. And this story involves kids and also the family that you see before us this is a family from senegal a family of five and this guy was married to this woman that you see in the blue hat with their kid and this was the sister-in-law with her kid and i could not i cannot pronounce these people name at all like i just can't i tried and tried to pronounce their name i can't so rest in peace to the senegalese family this guy right here was 16 at the time. And this is a, a picture of him being arrested when he was 16. He looks much, much different because this was four years ago. Four whole years ago. This happened in 2020. Actually, this happened on August 5th, my birthday of 2020. It's crazy. In Denver, Colorado. And him along with another two individuals. One, one guy. Hold on. I'm about to get you the names. Sorry about that, but this guy's name is Kevin Boo or Kevin Bowie. However you pronounce it, it's Kevin B-U-I-E. This is this individual. He also had a 14-year-old with them at the time of the situation. And um, unfortunately, he was a name, but he was the first to take a plea deal during, due to the fact that he was only a juvenile and probably was easily influenced by these guys. This guy right here, name is Gavin Seymour. Gavin Seymour. And I think he was uh, also 16. Maybe he was even, uh, yeah, I think he was 16 at the time. I think that's why they was able to charge him as an adult. And he he uh, pleaded out for 40 years. Pleaded out for 40 years on the second degree murder charge. And we don't, we still don't know how the situation came about we don't know where these young men were uh when the step cell phone was stolen mind you they used the track my iphone to find this iphone they used the track my iphone to find this iphone and when you use a track my iphone application it sends you in the general vicinity so you might be 30 40 to even 50 feet off from exactly where that phone at if not more depend depending on where the phone exactly is in the household now my guess it probably was in the next household or one of the households near it and by them just going with they move and just burning picking the house to burn it down versus just seeing where the phone is exactly at this what made it all bad all bad over a phone now you're gonna have to serve more years than what that phone is worth over a cell phone over a cell phone this is beyond me this is crazy now i don't know if these individuals turned this phone off stop communicating with them or what but either way it goes crazy but if you made it this far, drop down, hit that like, hit that sub, show some love. I'm about to let you watch this little clip, and I'm going to come back with more commentary. 
I did talk to the parents of Bowie and friends of the victims. Those friends saying they're concerned now that there could be too light of a sentence because of today's guilty plea. And the parents of Bowie saying that they've accepted what's happened. The images of this house fire in Denver in August of 2020 were horrific. Five people, including two children, were killed in the fire that was deliberately set. They were all members of a family from Senegal. Today, 20-year-old Kevin Bowie pleaded guilty to second-degree murder for each of the five victims. This afternoon, a friend of one of the people who died in the fire said, we're hopeful this time that justice will be served and that he will get a deserving sentence. The judge today said Bowie could serve up to 60 years in prison. Two other teenagers had previously pleaded guilty. Bowie's parents were in the courtroom today listening through a Vietnamese translator. When he said guilty today, what, what went to your mind, Mr. Bowie? Uh, he not quite right, but uh, she have no choice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's okay. Anything else that you would like to say? No. He accepted. We accepted. Yeah, nothing else to say. Investigators say Bowie was seeking revenge for his stolen cell phone at the wrong house and set that house on fire. The plea deal means there will not be a trial for any of the suspects and the deadly fire. Legal analyst Christopher Decker. The least culpable person starts to take a plea and then the next takes a plea and then the final person remaining uh, is back up against the wall and forced to either go to trial with a very, very grim prospect or to take a forced deal. We now know what that deal is in one of the deadliest house fires in Denver that will not soon be forgotten. Bowie's sentencing is now set for July. The judge today said he could serve up to 60 years behind bars. At the county courthouse, downtown Denver, Vicente Arenas, 2 Prime News. As you can see on the news clip, man, if you made it this far, man, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all the love. Drop down and hit that sub button, man. Drop down and hit that like button. You could just drop down in the comments. You know I ain't tripping, but this is a sad situation as you seen on the news clips, man. Imagine you getting away from your country for whatever reasons. I don't know exactly why these people left their country, but they left. And imagine being over here thinking that you about to have a prosperous life or a different life, or just a simple and better life. And here it is, overprivileged individuals, overprivileged little kids is sitting up here looking for a phone that they probably was careless about from the first place. And not only did you take one, two, three, you took five individuals with two of them being top, well, one of them being a toddler and the other one being five months old. Five months old. Now, me personally, his sentences is coming up in July. They talking about he faces 48 years. He should literally be facing more than that. And see, let me tell you something. I don't know exactly what Gavin, the little white boy had to do with it. But he, he definitely, and also the 14 year old got sucked into a situation due to the fact that nine times out of 10, they probably thought or figured that it was a black kid, a black kid or whatever. And they felt like it wouldn't have been no big deal. But of course it was a big deal. Cause not only did you wait till they were asleep, but you, you, you burned the wrong house. All for a phone. Now, just think about it. What's the purpose of you burning the house down if you can't get the phone back? If you're doing all this for a phone, what's the purpose of burning the house down? This is why I am very wary of people and individuals. This is why it's important to have uh, motion detector lights, motion detector cameras, and just always knowing what's going on around your house. You can't depend on the, the neighbor's cameras. In this case, the neighbor caught this image right here. And this was a, what the neighboring camera caught at the other individuals, or should I say the neighbor's house. The three young individuals all have hoodies on and all have hockey masks on. And see, it's almost impossible to get away with these type of things because 
with one camera don't catch, the neighboring other cameras will catch. Everybody have door cameras. Everybody usually have cameras. Or should I say 80% of the people nowadays have cameras around their house. So they can pretty much time stamp where you was before you got into that camera view and where you came from. And then therefore, they're going to look at street light cameras. They're going to look at traffic cameras. They're going to look at store cameras. And they're going to also subpoena the whatever cameras in the area that has that you could have possibly took the route of. Basically, excuse me, excuse me from getting caught up. But this was a a crime that was unnecessary. This was a crime that should have never happened. And this was a crime that took five innocent people away due to an insignificant cell phone. An insignificant cell phone. Remember, people, you can get a cell phone back. Do not put yourself in a situation to be put in jail all for a materialistic item. All for a materialistic item. But this story is crazy. It happened in Denver, Colorado. It took place uh, August 5th, 2020 at 2.40 a.m. The guy name is Kevin Bowie. Kevin B-U-I-E and Gavin Seymour. But I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. You know I'm gonna be back with another one on Me TV 1.0. Like, comment, sub, share. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, man. Come back and holler at me. Yeah.